What is up and what is popping, y'all? Welcome to a new year reset. Now, I know in January, we were so bold with our dreams. We put it on vision boards. And now that it's approaching Feb, we might have forgot. But I'm here to remind you that you made those goals for a reason. So we're starting off this new year reset by being intentional about writing our goals down. And not just the big goals, not just the Bentley, not just the house. But what are the steps that actually get there? And this is something I've been doing for a while. And it has definitely helped me be way more effective in a achieving the big goals I set. So I'll break down my life into different categories. I'll have family, I'll have spirituality, I'll have giving back, I'll have fitness, I'll have all of these different goals. And the whole point of this is to write down the steps attached to the big goal. If you have too big of a goal with no steps to get there, it will just remain a dream. But when you put into place active steps, you can be taking on a daily, monthly, and yearly basis, I promise you that goal is going to become so much more obtainable. So I just took a second to really be intentional about writing down what can I do this week to help me reach those goals that I set in the beginning of the year. And after I set my intentions, I just felt so good. I was like, okay, I know what I'm doing. I have a game plan. The Bible says to write the vision down and make it plain. If you don't have a vision, there is nothing. Okay, God said it, not me. So now we're gonna head downstairs so we can really get our space together and curate the perfect environment to accomplish our goals this year. So like I mentioned in the intro, we are going to be creating the best space for us to thrive in in 2023 and clearly this bathroom is not up to par. I get so much anxiety getting ready in the morning with this space okay because there's no organization everything is just thrown into drawers and it's not giving so i decided i'm gonna go drawer by drawer shelf by shelf and just get it together honey i invested in a whole bunch of clear acrylic organizers keyword is gonna be clear because if you can see it you're gonna use it if you cannot see it you're probably not even going to remember you have that product or item so highly recommend getting some clear organizers it's going to make your life 10 times better and this year we're investing in things that are going to benefit us okay just like we can buy chick-fil-a or starbucks multiple times a week we can invest in some clear organizers that are going to help us every single day so my biggest thing with this was making my bathroom make sense okay so the top drawer is going to be like toothpaste and it's going to be like face cream and floss things that i need right when i wake up easy accessibility it just makes sense i used to watch the show called the home edit and they utilize zones a lot so making sure your zones make sense and just allowing your mornings to be easier by creating zones for your house so i had a zone for like my toothpaste stuff this is going to be a zone for body care like what i don't even know what products i have because they're literally just thrown in the drawer it's not giving what it needs to give, baby. We're about to get this thing together. I think the most empowering thing ever is that you can have a messy space, but you also have the capability to turn it around. You don't have to live like that. You don't have to live with that mental load. You literally, it does take effort. It does take you overcoming your procrastination. But when you do that, the benefit is that now you have a clear space and you're going to thrive in that space. You don't, you can't have creativity and new ideas and peace when there's just a mess all around you. Trust me, I've lived in it before and I know what that feels like, but I also know what it feels like to live an organized life. And it's so much better. Okay. Let me just say first handedly it's so much better so my second drawer is going to be all of my body care i found all of my clear organizers um from marshall's actually and i found that marshall's was way more affordable than amazon i'm gonna just say that right now girl for one organizer on amazon they was talking about 30 dollars I went right to Marshall's and I got all of these for majority like $9.99, $12.99, stuff like that. So it's definitely an investment if you get a lot. I think I probably spent a total of like $100. But again, like I probably spend $100 a month on Starbucks. So I might as well turn it around and use it on something that actually is going to have a lot of benefits in my life. So I love how this drawer came out, y'all. Like it just, it's just it's going to allow my mornings to be so much more peaceful and 
it just is so pleasing, aesthetically pleasing, and it's definitely gonna help in the long run. Next up, we're tackling the hair drawer. Wow. Wow. Like, what is even in this drawer? I see rollers. I see clips. I see cords. I don't know what's in here. So we're just going to take it all out. And mind you, during this process, I'm also getting rid of stuff. So anything that I barely use in 2023, I mean in 2022, does not need to be in my space anymore. It's just taking up unnecessary space and it's got to go. So while you are organizing, make sure you're also decluttering and not holding on to items that no longer have space in your life. One of the most empowering things, let's get back to the empowerment of it all, is picking and choosing what belongs in your space and what doesn't. You never want stuff to overtake your space, the home that you pay for, the home that you worked for. You want it to be the most peaceful space possible. So if things and unnecessary junk is not allowing your space to have peace, oh, we got to change it up, okay? So I am now going under all of the sink drawers. And as you saw, I just put all of my like hair tools in that bottom drawer because I'm going to be putting hair products down here because I do have a lot of like hair products so I just wanted to make a drawer specifically for hair tools and then in this little organizer I'm doing like brushes and clips and in the bottom I'm doing products so again getting back to zones making sure everything has a place if something doesn't have a place you don't need it throw it out okay so I'm putting all of this stuff in the zones that it belongs in in the middle organizer that you see I'm gonna do like all of my hair accessories like scrunchies bonnets stuff like that and then in the other organizer I'm gonna do makeup so I'm just gonna let the music vibe out for a little bit and I'll come and talk to you guys for our next task Y'all, I am so happy I finally got a makeup organizer. I had like a semi makeup organizer, but honestly, y'all, it just got so dirty looking that I just didn't want to use it. That's another thing. If your products or the things that you keep your products in look dirty, you're probably not going to use it. So highly recommend wiping down all of your makeup products, making sure there's no excess makeup on them. It's just going to make them look cleaner and it's going to make you actually want to use them opposed to just throwing them in the back of the counter or throwing them in the back of the shelf. You're probably not going to use them. So love how this turned out so clean i can see everything i know exactly where everything is chef's kiss so me being the wife that i am i was like okay i gotta get my husband together as well so this is my husband's side and i want him to also experience organization and one thing i will definitely say is like if you teach a man he will learn because javon has definitely become so much more cleaner and organized since we've just been together so i'm excited for him to start using this space he loved it y'all he was so happy and so pleased and he was like oh my gosh i can see everything i know where everything is and i'm like see that's the purpose of it all ah oh, chef's kiss all his products look so great on here this literally looks so good so after we organize it's time to do a little deep clean that's kind of how i like to do things don't just clean make sure you're organizing and then cleaning because when you organize you're probably going to find a lot of products you don't use a lot of trash you need to throw away so just avoid having to re-clean after you clean by doing the organizing first so we're going to be getting into it scrubbing down the counters scrubbing the floors down scrubbing the shower down just really making sure this space is disinfected your bathroom girl if you clean one thing every week 
please make sure to clean your bathroom. Your bathroom has so many germs, so many dead skin cells, so much hair that you probably can't even see with the human eye, but it's there. So make sure you're at least wiping down the counters, wiping down your toilet and mopping every single week to just avoid unnecessary germs and bacteria and all that type of stuff. So again, I'm gonna let you guys vibe out to the music and I will talk to you guys when we are cleaning the shower. I do want to also talk about how I understand wholeheartedly how hard it can be to get your space back together when you've let it go for so long. Trust me when I say I know. But I make these cleaning videos and these organization videos just to show you the power that you have. Like you literally can turn your space around and it's not going to be just one day where you just get everything together. Just go day by day. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you need to write step by step goals so you can achieve the big goal. Maybe the big goal is having a clean home. But right now you're looking at your house and you're like, how am I going to do this? Maybe it's every day just wiping down a counter or every day cleaning out one drawer. You have to put a plan in place in order to achieve the big goal. I love you guys and I want you guys to thrive and have the most organized, beautiful space possible. So that's why I love to make these videos. Also, I want to talk about these little footies that I found on Amazon for mopping because what are you supposed to wear when you're mopping? Like... It, slippers socks i don't know but you're supposed to wear these because they're so bomb in my shower i'm actually just using some soap and some bleach i really just put the soap so i could have like a sudsy effect but the bleach is really what's going to clean your shower i really just like to use bleach based products in my bathroom so i know 100 percent that it's getting clean like no games no gimmicks just give me the bleach please okay because i want to disinfect this bathroom so this is actually supposed to be like a battery powered um scrubber but i didn't charge it it's not battery powered it's actually you charge it but i didn't charge it and i didn't feel like waiting to charge it so i just scrubbed it manually but it still worked really really well so basically after that i'm gonna go ahead and use my o cedar mop this is gonna get it done again i'm just using really hot water i boiled water and put it into my o cedar mop bucket and i put some bleach this is going to really disinfect the floors because we don't want the games we don't want the gimmicks we want the disinfectant okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this new year's reset video i hope it gave you the motivation to just get it together this year put the plan in place to actually achieve the big goals that you have you know i'm gonna be here supporting you every step of the way so i love you i appreciate you so much god bless you and i will see you next video bye